the most important work you do as an artist is when it appears that you're doing no work at all. That's when you're doing all the real work. When I'm painting, it's automatic. When I'm painting, I'm just blue, red. I, I'm not even thinking about color. Half the time, I don't even look at my palette while my brush is. I'm just, it's an automatic process. I'll have an idea in my brain about a painting that I want to do. And I talk to the individual or individuals that I want to paint and I get my, cam my camera. I take as many as a thousand photographs in different positions, but generally speaking, I have a good understanding of what I'm going to do from the beginning. You know, I have these kind of ideas, these rough concepts of what I want to do from the beginning, from the outset. And I take these photos and then I edit them extensively. Sometimes in Photoshop, I'll uh, take a hand from a different photograph and, you know, Photoshop that into the, the image that I want to do. And I'll take a different expression or I'll take this row. Sometimes I'll, I'll start the painting with one general image and I will literally have taped to the canvas five different heads. So there's no one head that's right. There's five different heads and based on my knowledge of anatomy, I'm taking those five different expressions and I'm fusing them into the expression that I want to capture. I am in a sense documenting the world. I'm trying to capture the world that I understand. People have talked to me before about, you know, my subjects, what, you know, why do you paint these people instead of these people? You know, I don't paint some Baptist preachers on the stage or I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't paint congressmen. I, I, I don't do that kind of stuff. I, I paint a very specific group of people. I paint the people I see around me. My most important first body of work that I did was my diner series. So I did these paintings of people that hung out at diners. I did a bunch of Denny's paintings. The series I called the smoking section kids. And it was all about the kids that hang out at Denny's, uh, you know, two and three in the morning. And, you know, just smoke too many cigarettes and drink coffee all night. And they order some French fries so the waitress doesn't hate them. And, you know, you tip them well, but you're there and you get your bottomless cup of coffee and you're there for six, seven hours. I started that series towards the end of my undergrad, and that's what really got me into my graduate school program, which was Northwestern University. My breaking free of that world came with the Denny's paintings. I was like, I'm gonna paint what I understand, what I know, and it's gonna be work that has to do with now. This is now. If you look at those paintings, if people look at those paintings 50 years from now, they'll be like, wow, that encapsulates what, you know, what, what, what kids in the suburbs were doing in, you know, 2000. Like, it, it kind of perfectly encapsulates that sort of worldview, that, that part of America. It's, oftentimes I'm asked, why no one's smiling in my paintings? You know, why don't I paint really happy subjects? Because I've dealt with imagery, even, even the imagery that's not very dark, people aren't smiling, they're not looking particularly happy or psyched or positive. I think that's reflective of my generation. And I think it is, it differs from other generations previously. I really genuinely believe that to be the case. And I think that a lot of people who are in what I would call my generation, they don't really have that much hope. The American dream is completely lost. They don't, they, they don't believe in it at all. They think it's completely bullshit. It's over, it's done. The lost generation of the 20s, they still had ideals and goals and dreams and they thought that some things could work themselves out and they had faith in the future. Most people I know have absolutely no faith in the future. So I paint what I understand, I paint what I know. I paint the people that I see around me. And I know all of these people, these are all characters that I know. And, um, you know, I feel like I can actually accurately portray them.